Till now, I have been using the term as SAP in most of the previous videos and even we have SAP in our course title. And you are here to learn about SAP. So guys, what does this SAP stands for? SAP stands for Systems, Applications and Products in Data Processing. SAP is an ERP package. We call it as ERP package because SAP is developed based on the ERP concept. So, what does this ERP means? ERP means Enterprise Resource Planning which says how efficiently you can utilize the three M's that is man, machine and money of an enterprise or a company to get the more output with the optimized usage of input. Another important concept of ERP is how to integrate all the different departments within a company. In every company, we have five major departments. Material Management Department, Production Planning, Sales and Distribution Department, Finance Department and HR Department. These five are core departments. From this five, other departments will be formed. Before SAP or any ERP software, the company had to buy the five different applications for each of separate department. At the end of year, it was very difficult for them to integrate all the system and bring the information to common platform where they can retrieve the required report or data. Because all are in different software. And the second challenge is, it requires more team to handle individual software and more money on software investment. Let me give you an example for the situation of the company without proper integration of its core departments in operation. Let's take an example of Amazon.com. Everyone knows Amazon.com, right? It is an online store. In Amazon, let's say it has four departments four different departments. SD that is sales and distribution which is responsible for taking orders online and next is MM that is material management. Uh, they are responsible for stock, warehouse and delivery processing. Next comes finance team FI for payment processing and billing. And the last department would be HR for internal employee management. There is a product in website star phone x posted in the website by sales and distribution team agree there is a product in a website called star phone x it has been posted in the website by sales and distribution team all the orders placed by the customers are recorded manually in a separate excel sheet or separate sales software and then processed and then sent to the material management department for the processing of stocks and delivery at the end of the day. After receiving the data in excel sheet from the sales team, the same has to be manually entered and processed again in the separate material management software for further process. This causes a delay in order processing as there is a duplication of work due to lack of integration and resulting in the late delivery to customer. This resulting in bad customer experience. Yes. And also, there will not be real-time visibility of stock for the sales department for taking orders. Let's say at the start of the day, the stock was updated by the material management team as the 100 pieces. But during inspection by MM team, it has been found that only 80 were available. The updation on stocks in MM department does not reflect in the sales department. If the sales department takes order for 100 pieces, then at the end of day, after knowing the stock status, the sales team or the company has to cancel the orders of 20 pieces. Yes, this results in customer dissatisfaction. If this happens to any customer, what happens to the brand and trust about the company? It will be impacted a lot. So. Integration of all the departments is very essential for any business or company to run effectively. The concept of ERP started with the combination of MM and PP. 
it was called as mrp1 that is material resource planning 1 then they added one more department that is sd and it is called as mrp2 that is material resource planning 2 then they added finance to mrp2 and it is called as sap but it was more famous as software for accounting package at last they added hr as well then they called it as sap that is systems application and products in data processing functionality or modules of sap is segregated to two parts first is functional and another is technical in functional side we have mm pp sd fi co hr modules okay the people working in functional modules are known as functional consultants in technical side we have abap bases and etc okay If you take basis consultants the roles and responsibilities include the installation of SAP managing security part and managing the access part ABAP people work on reporting or create a platform where functional people work the main responsibility of functional consultants is to understand the business process as how the business is operating by customer and customizing the sap system as per the business requirements you may have heard people speaking with another term as sap r3 system too what does this sap r3 system mean to understand this you need to learn on history of sap So guys let's understand the history of SAP in next video